to administrate the labdo system there are a lot of functions available we can only show you a few in this short video uh, you can change the keyboards um, you can add new keyboard layouts or remove those which you don't need decide what is uh, needed in your school or project you can search for programs like language settings uh, here in this case English is preset but you can change it already to already pre-installed languages or if you uh, want you can add more languages you should apply system-wide later so every user has the same language setting. You will need the admin password to add new languages uh, and then you will see a list and decide which languages uh, you have to use locally. There are a lot of other functions in the control center available for firewall settings, add printers, modify the mouse speed, for instance. If the mouse pad is too slow for you, you can raise the speed. Um, so it's up to you to set details uh, yourself. Add a printer, for instance, here. Uh, it will either show you network printer or USB printer connected to your workstation. Drivers are installed automatically. Bluetooth manager, a lot of other details. The software manager takes a while uh, to load it. So we put it in the background. Here you can, for instance, change the look and feel of the system, uh, which applications should be started automatically, etc. Uh, there is a huge library of about 80,000, 90,000 uh, programs uh, to load. So we let the system update uh, the software list in the background. And here's a, another helpful tool, which is called VirtualBox. It's also pre-installed on each system. You can either download a virtual machine from web or which you create it yourself or you can install, for instance, Windows, Android, iOS, whatever you want. There are a lot of operating systems available, but if they cost money, it's your task to take care that you have a legal license. So we can check if the software list is completed later. Um, there are some scripts which we prepared for you in the script folder, only available for the administrator. Backup and restore user student is if you um, gave it to a student and want to reset it to the status at the time of delivery, you can use the restore um, script. The install disk maker is if you want to install labdo yourself, you can download it from our FTP server, but there are hundreds of gigabytes if you select too much. You can install codices, you can install content uh, from an install disk. Um, you can run the install script, but it's not necessary now. Um, and if you add additional content and the settings are not for, uh, so that the student has access, you can run the set right script. So now it has loaded the software list and you can see a lot of programs. For instance, for programming, there are hundreds and hundreds of tools for informatic. Uh, Python is pre-installed. You can see the green hook in the corner. You can look for details. It's very similar as you are used to, uh, to it from your phone or tablet. So um, there are a lot of um, program languages, systems, databases, etc. Um, Linux is uh, the most used operating system on the internet server, by the way. Um, 
and very safe. So here you can see there is a list of programs uh, to be updated. You can refresh the list. Doing so, you might see uh, a warning uh, later uh, that in this case, the security key, signature key of a tool from Microsoft in this case is too weak. So it's not really an error, it's just a warning. You can continue. And after that, uh, the list of updated programs is refreshed and now you can install the updates. Of course, you must be online. Um, you need again the password of the administrator to do so. And then all these updates will be loaded. Um, usually uh, you get up to five years updates uh, for free for Linux. Um, and after that, you have to decide if you change the operating system uh, again to a more actual Linux. Um, but that is your, your decision. There are also tools on the system pre-installed to manage such release updates, major release updates. Um, it take, can take a while depending on your speed of connection to internet. Um, and you can check the details, what is done in the background. Um, but it's not so urgent uh, to update a Linux system. It is very, very safe. Okay, see you and bye.